All right, and here we are again with day number six of the Daily Nime, the live stream for using Nime for procurement and finance professionals. Today, we are going to cover how you can replace the Excel sum if function in Nime. And let me just quickly give you an overview of what we're going to build. So this is the workflow we're going to build today. And um, now let's just start with the intro. All right, so here we are again. Um, in, sometimes in Nime you cannot replace a function exactly like in um, Excel with just a simple formula. As we said before, and if you have a look at the workflow, um, sometimes this just happens using several nodes. So what we have here is basically our trusted Excel reader node. Then we have a rule engine to classify and then to classify our purchase orders, which is the task that we're going to do today. And then we are going to filter on exactly the strategic demand. So let me just quickly give an overview here. Strategic from our point of view would be everything with a purchase order value over 100,000. I think these kind of thresholds are very common in procurement. So let's build this together. We just go to an empty workflow. We first need to import our base file our um, ba basic data from an existing spreadsheet for example so we just click double click this excel reader like we did in the previous um, streams then we double click on it to determine where our file is coming from we set it to relative to uh, and relative to and to the current workflow browse for it and you can see here we have here our example data set. As always, you can download this data set over at procurementzen.com slash the daily nine. We will find the link to that also in the video description. Looks all good. And so let's click OK with F2, quickly label it. Done. And now let's execute it. Data looks good. It imported the 10,000 rows and all the columns. So the very next thing we are going to do is we're going to use a rule engine because before we can focus and filter on a um, on our strategic demands, we need to tell Nime what makes a purchase order in our example strategic. And as said before, that would be a um, threshold the value threshold in our example it is one hundred thousand dollars or euros or whatever currency you're using so we double click it to add it to the workflow f2 to label it define um demand class we are going to write our roots here so if the po value is let's say less than or equal to 99,999. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit confused. We are going to determine that uh, operational PO and everything else, and we use the true statement for that. Is going to be strategic PO. All right, let's give our new column a name, demand class. All right, so let's execute this one as well. And as we can see here from the resulting table, we have all the demands and all the purchase orders that are over a hundred a hundred thousand or greater that defined as strategic POs everything else is an operational PO okay the next thing we're going to do is we are going to apply a row filter because we're going to filter only the strategic demand classes so we double click that filter on strategic 
copy out control B to bold it if you want and here we define what we want to include we take our demand class and we say strategic PO click OK so if we now execute that should leave us only with the purchase orders that are a hundred thousand and greater and as you can see here on the screen that's correct so finally we may want to see the overall volume that's why we want to do maybe something like a group buy meaning the nine equivalent to an pivot table double click all right sum and count of strategic I'm sorry, seems like I can't write today. POs, all right. And now we just need to configure what needs to be grouped. So we want to group on the demand class. So we double click this to take it over into the include box. And then we determine what kind of aggregation we want to do. So we choose the PO value. PO value, click on the add button, and instead of mean, which means average, we are going to do a sum. And in addition, we also want to count how many POs we had. So once again, while PO value is still selected, click add to add a second aggregation method, and this time we're going to use count. As said before, if we're using the same column more than once, we can't keep the original names because both, uh, both results would then bear the name PO value. And that's not possible in NIME. In NIME, every column of a table needs to have a unique header. So we just say the column name and the aggregation method. Execute. And this is what we've got. So we obviously got one, what is it? One billion sixty one million. Now what is it? One billion sixty one million one hundred no, what is it? Ten? Oh I'm sorry. Huh? So sorry, obviously I'm a little bit confused. We have six thousand POs roughly and round about um one billion dollars or whatever currency we have and that basically is it already we used more than one note in this example but that clearly shows how easy you can do it once again the big advantage here in nine is that you only have to do it once and then it you can automate it um, for the next time you have this task. Of course, you could also do different things than group by. You could write this to an Excel um, file, back to an Excel file. You could also focus on operational POs by changing the pattern here and all these kind of things. So that's basically it. So hope you liked it. See you tomorrow in the very next episode of the Daily Nine. Make sure to, uh, if you want to work with these files, to download them from procurementzen.com slash the daily nine. The link is in the description down below. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.